Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back another kicking dab uh, graphic novel review. It's raining pretty hard, but I want to get this done while this is still fresh on my mind. Uh, today we are looking at all City of Bane comics. I love this cover by Tony S. Daniel with uh, Flashpoint Batman and Gotham Girl in her new outfit. To just Tony S. Daniel is just great. I j I, he probably draws Batman better than anyone else. And he and uh, Jim Lee, just the way they draw Batman is really great. And, uh, so Gotham Girl actually does end up getting defeated by Damien, and, uh, she kind of gets put out of the picture. And Catwoman, uh, is training Batman with this other Tony Asino cover. Here, here, here's some BS. Listen to this. Okay, so the comic shop didn't put this in my box, and I was missing it, so I, which is one of the reasons this City of Bane stuff is piled up. Um... So I went back to get one, and it was eight bucks, and they wouldn't give it to me for the normal price, even though it was supposed to be in my box, but it wasn't. I feel like I probably should have got it for regular price, but I'll probably end up selling all these anyways, so screw it. Good cover, though. Here's This is a, this, this cover is not my favorite, even though it's still Daniel, but, oh, you can hear my kitty. What are you doing, kitty? You digging? Oh, good girl. Yeah, she's trying to poop. She's a little constipated right now. Gotta get her some medicine, poor baby. Uh, yeah, so Catwoman and Batman actually defeat Magpie to get this special Venom, because apparently, uh, the concoction that turned Gotham and Gotham Girl into who they were is actually based on Venom and was given, was sold to them by Bane, which is pretty wild. Uh, but they end up backing Gotham and the whole Bat family, like, beats the crap out of Thomas Wayne, but then he gets back up and beats the crap out of them. And Batman actually does end up beating the crap out of Bane, or... Oh, excuse me. But uh, right before he breaks Bane's back, uh, Thomas Wayne shows up and uh, shoots Bruce and shoots Bane. It's implied that he's that he killed Bane, but it's not, like, straight up thrown out there. Um, because, you know, in case someone wants to use Bane again. And then I actually got the variant cover for 82, uh, just because I really like Batman in blue. Uh, I don't... Ba ba Batman in blue and gray is my favorite. Blue and gray Batman is my favorite, so... Really happy to have this, uh, variant cover. Really, really glad. And then, uh... We're gonna keep going here. More City of Bane. Really nice covers. And... I'm just gonna tell you guys this big, huge, fucking spoiler! Alfred's dead. Bane snapped his neck in front of Damien, and then... After Thomas Wayne shot Bruce, he left him at a table with Alfred's dead body. And then, Batman and Thomas have a bit of a scuffle. We get to see how Thomas Wayne actually ended up in this universe. Turns out Reverse Flash brought him to this universe. Because he was like, you killed me, but I'm not going to let you die because living is suffering for you. And all this stuff. Pretty wild. But yeah, that's it. So... Quick recap of these. I don't know why I took that away. Batman 84. Batman 83. Batman 82 variant. Batman 81. Batman 80. Batman 79. Overpriced Batman 78. And Batman 77. Love that cover. Uh, so that's that. Just one more issue uh, for City of Bane, and that will be the last issue of Tom King's run. At the time of recording this, it comes out in five days, uh, which will be December 18th, 2019, which is also the last issue of Doomsday Clock drops that day. So it's going to be a big day for DC Comics. Uh, cannot wait for the... God, it's been like... Like, Doomsday Clock's been going on since 2017, so... Really excited for that. And I'll definitely be talking about both those issues on the channel. So that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. And I'll see you all next time.